And the Labour Code of 2010 will soon reflect further changes to make it more practical and realistic in the administering of industrial relations in the BVI. Minister responsible for Labour Dr. Kedrick Pickering says a new policy to guide the administration of Labour matters such as the issuance of work permits is in its final draft stages. This, he says, will ensure that Labour matters are administered fairly and above reproach. A new policy that will guide the overall function of, 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 of labor within the country vis-a-vis -vis work permits and uh, the ease and issuing of work permits is in its final drafting stage, came out of the public meetings that we had early in, 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 in our administration. And there's a draft that we've asked um, the legal people to look at with respect to its authenticity and to make sure we're not doing anything outside the ambit of the law. There are some amendments to the code itself that have been drafted to make the code itself more functional and make it more practical and realistic in today's BVI context. And those are being reviewed and will be on its way to cabinet pretty soon on its way to the House of Assembly for the final amendment to the code that will improve the, the, the law itself. So in that overall vein, we are working diligently and steadfastly to ensure that the labor situation in the BVI can approach a situation where people feel that that it is fair, it is just, and that it is above reproach. Meanwhile, Dr. Pickering says he is pleased with recent efforts to restructure the Labor Department. He says the restructuring came in response to many vexing problems raised during a series of town hall meetings in the early half of the current National Democratic Party administration since taking office in November 2011. These problems range from the inadequacy of the current minimum wage to unfair treatment of some employees by some employers. There were also issues raised from the employer's perspective as well, such as the inappropriate use of sick days by employees, poor job performance, and behavioral issues. These meetings were very beneficial as they brought together the people and government in a collaborative fashion to deal with the labor issues. And these meetings resulted in one, the restructuring of the labor department for greater efficiency, which translated to the appointment of Mrs. Janice Reimer, former deputy secretary in the ministry to the post of labor commissioner. Number two, the revisiting of the policy on the granting of work permit exemptions, particularly those based on the minister's discretion. Number three, the timely fulfilling of our obligations to the International Labor Organization, ILO, by way of reporting, and four, the creation of an employment services unit within the Labor Department, with its main function being that of ensuring that BVI lenders are given a fair chance at finding gainful employment. I want to publicly thank the businesses for following through and notifying the Labor Department of vacancies in various areas. I also want to recognize that firms will continue to, to make decisions that ensure their survival, especially in this competitive climate. Now, this policy is not intended to create confusion in the labor market, nor is it intended to have employers fighting tooth and nail, as it were for every work permit. What is hoped is that we begin to achieve some semblance of balance within the labor market, while allowing enough flexibility to allow the labor market to function. Dr. Pickering was speaking at a media launch of the long-awaited Labor Arbitration Tribunal on November 11th.